From up above, it might look like progress, but tonight, a local business owner says it is killing her profits. Now, the state is calling this project the Stark Truck Route Project. The cost, $90 million. The goal will relieve congestion on US 301 for 7.3 miles. And if you ever drive that area to a Gator game or whatever, you know this place is packed with truck. We're talking about the area in purple right here on this map. But this Stark Bypass Project is nothing but bad right now for one iconic spot on 301. Yes, ma'am, we've been here since 1989. Norman's Roadside Market, a proud family tradition, even had the Strawberry Queen one year. Yeah. Drive to a Gator game on 301, and maybe you've stopped for their melons and strawberries. But right now, squeeze in the peaches, not their big problem. So what do you want to tell everybody coming down 301? Come see me, please. <laughs> you need the sales, I right? need the sales. Please stop. Sandra Norman tells me she is losing money like crazy. The construction for the Stark Bypass truck route is driving away her business. You've taken quite a hit. Yes. And over the last four months. She says this strawberry season, she lost half of her profits. You know, had to put a dollar figure on it. I'd say in strawberry season, we probably lost at least $25,000. Just because of the road construction? Road construction. These concrete barriers, she says, right in front of her market, keep customers going south from turning in. They could have made it a little bit better and fixed us a decent turn lane coming in. People are scared. They look in the rear view mirror and there that big semi's on there behind. I asked the Florida Department of Transportation, why didn't you leave a gap, a better entrance into Normans? Spokesman Troy Roberts replied, FDOT uses channelizing devices like barrier wall to separate traffic as a method to improve safety. So when will the construction be finished? Not until fall 2019. Meanwhile, Sandra says barriers or not. Come see Sandra, I'm always here. <laughs> So, Jeannie, what about businesses within the city limits of Stark? Yeah, that's a very good question. I talked today with Pam Whittle. She's Chamber of Commerce president. She says, sure, there is anxiety among businesses, but this bypass, as she says, is going to happen. And so they're telling businesses to be proactive to get their menus, their websites, their special deals on Google Maps and social media. FDOT says this new truck route will carry some 25,000 vehicles a day by the year 2020.